Hi everyone, in this video we're going to do this. I'm going to click a button and ooh, cool huh? Kind of slides down to the different section. Okay, it's a way of doing navigation on a one page website. Okay, where you're not actually jumping to separate pages, you're just jumping down to different parts of it. Okay, they're called element IDs and anchors, but really they're just fancy page slide navigation stuff. Let me show you how they work. All right, to create that navigation, it works kind of backwards. That's why it's really hard to remember and you'll end up coming back to this video or writing it down somewhere. So you don't start with the button, okay, which seems natural. You start with where you want to go, okay? I want this button when it's clicked to come down here. So I'm going to say this section here, I would like to go to my settings option. I'm going to give it an ID. That's what it uses or the button knows where to go. Okay, so we're going to give it a name. Now, you've got to be reasonably, uh, well, Let's do a space in there. Uh, section call, this one's called next event. Okay, watch this. If I hit enter, it will put on the hyphens for me. Seems to be okay with upper and lower, but there are just some things like IDs don't like spaces. So it forces you to put little hyphens in. Cool, so that's kind of half the work done. Now we go up to the button and say you, when you are clicked, so at our settings, we say, I want it to go to a website. I want it to go to this page section. And you'll notice that it only appears now. Even though we've called things sections, it doesn't care. It wants to see an ID. So that link there, okay, it's called an anchor. It's gonna to go to this anchor here called section next event when it is clicked. Let's give it a go. So let's preview it and let's click it. Hey, <laughs> there's not much down here, so it kind of, kind of stops. Uh, I'm putting more on my website later on, but all that easing is already done automatically for us by the browser and by Webflow, but Nice, huh? We're doing it to a section. You can actually add it to anything. You know, you can select this, go to this, give it an ID and say, when it clicks, go down to whatever this is. So it doesn't have to be a section. It's just obviously probably useful going to a section. You can go to an H1, as long as it's got an ID. So let's do some of the other bits. So uh, the contact us, we don't have right now. The about us, we actually, this is not all we want, is it? What is our, it says past events, sponsors events. We've already done this. We deleted it, didn't we? So you wait there, I'm gonna type it real fast. Aha. All right, so we've got our buttons. Okay, so what I want to do is when we go to events, okay, it's going to drop down to that, uh, the section here. And the cool thing about it is I've already got that ID and I want to go to the same place. So this button and that button goes the same place. So I can just reuse it. So select it, I can go to my settings. I can say not a URL. I want to go to a page section and there he is. So they both go there. Let's preview it. Yep. Oh, there he goes. All right, let's turn that off. And what else can we set up? We can set up sponsors. So let's do it one more time. Actually, I'm gonna pause, you do it. You wait there, you do it, but you can. Pause it, go try. All right, you're back. You did it, how did it go? <laughs> okay, if you've forgotten, uh, I'll show you. If you did make it do what you want, be proud of yourself. Awesome, you're web designing. Okay, so first of all, remember, it's where you wanna go first. Settings, I'm gonna call this one anything you like. Don't have to call it section. Okay, and mine's gonna be called uh, Sponsors, you might have called your supporters. Getting a bit loose with what I'm calling mine. Okay, so I'm gonna go, so that's that bit done. Now I wanna say you go to in page and go to one called sponsors. Let's give it a preview. Sponsors, doesn't go very far, but hey. You can tell when we make a longer page, okay, when we're not having multiple pages, we can just have this one page that you can move up and down. Okay, we don't have a past events yet. Okay, there it is there, we don't have it. We'll build that section in a little while. We'll do these grids down the bottom. But good work, we've done some hyperlinking. Same sort of thing, these are links, okay? But these ones have cool page slides. All right, that is it. See you in the next video. That, my friend, is the end of the video. Uh, but not the end of the course, uh, the video you just watched. Um, it is a small part of my larger course called Webflow Essentials. So if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay? And come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff, but hopefully see you in the course. Bye.